Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the trim command in Rhino. And the trim command is a very useful command when it comes to drafting. If you're familiar with sketching, you know that um, when you sketch, you're kind of overlapping lines. Um, so if you're using that sort of technique when it comes to drafting in Rhino, for example, if we have two separate lines here that are not meeting each other, we can simply type in trim and it'll ask to select the cutting objects that we want to be trimmed. Now you have to remember that when it asks to select the cutting objects, that means you want to select the line that you want to trim with. So for example, if we want this top portion to be trimmed or to be deleted, that means we need to select this line and tell Rhino that we want to delete that portion of the line. Now for example, let's say if we wanted to delete the long portion of the line, and we wanted to save the smaller portion of the line, we can right click to reinitiate the command and it's going to ask to select the cutting objects. Now you would select the object and then we would delete the line that we want deleted. And this could go with everything um, as far as curves and not just lines. So for example, let's say if I were to um, use the circle command here and I had um, overlapping circles and I wanted to trim out these two sections right here, I could simply type in trim um, and you can highlight both objects and if you want to remove the interior, um, you have both of them selected. So we're going to select both of these interior edges. And now um, the interior is gone. These are two separate curves. Uh, like I said, you can use the join command and we can join these command or join these lines together. Um, and this also goes for maybe overlapping squares. So if we had two squares here, um, and what if we wanted to save the interior of the square we could type in trim let's select both of these lines here and we could trim the outsides um, so the trim command is very useful when it comes to drafting most of the times you know you're developing your landscape plan from base up and there's just revisions that are happening real time and there's trimming that's evolved it's sort of like an eraser like erasing the endpoints of a line just to make sure that they're snug so the trim command is super useful um, like I said, you can also join the lines together if you want them to be joined. 